Alright guys, today's video is going to be about how to make your hand loads a little more accurate with some cheap tricks. You're going to need some Fireform brass to do the sizing. And what we're going to do is we're going to properly tune or size our cases to our chamber. The reason being is when you normally get a factory load, they try and size it to where it'll chamber in almost all situations and chambers and rifles and different configurations. When we tune it, we're going to reduce the amount of, I guess you could say, slop in our chamber. To increase the accuracy, we want this to go straight, the bolt to go straight down the barrel. And we don't want this cartridge, when it fires, to expand and move around a lot. And so we want there to be very little play within that. So that's why we're going to need our Fireform brass, which is already expanded in that chamber. And then we're going to try and size this the minimal amount. The minimal amount, um, I would suggest is around, I'd say 20 thousandths. Uh, so a lot of the shooters, professional shooters, would probably go a lot less. To do that, we're going to use uh, the cheap trick I was talking about, is just using a, some spent cases. You're going to want to make sure that the primers are below the surface so that when we measure them in our calipers, they're not interfering with any of our measurements. The same goes for the cartridge that we're going to be using. In order, some of the expensive gauges are going to be a metal construction that fits around the um, bullet or the uh, neck of the case, and it's going to sit right on the shoulder. So ideally you're going to want something that will sit right halfway through the shoulder there. We can even see where it's sitting if we spin it like that. So that's about perfect. This is a 9mm sitting on a 6.5 Creedmoor. 9mm is about 3.55, this is about 2.64 um, inches. The 9mm works for almost all 30 cals. One of the hardest cases to do this with is going to be your 223, 5.56, or uh, 300 Blackout. Being how thin the case is, as well as on the 300 Blackout, the shoulder being such a tiny, tiny shoulder. It's almost a straight weld case. So we go here, and we can see this almost slides completely over the shoulder. So we'll try and uh, do this trick with the counter blackout and see how it goes. So we'll take our Fireform case. That's the ones I've already done. Hopefully these are, I don't wipe off too much lube. These are pre-lube. We're going to measure it beforehand and measure it after. So we're going to shoot for that 20 thousandths that I talked about. Let's zero this. Eight one five, eight one six, eight one five five. All right. And then we'll run this through our sizer. So decapper and then the sizer. And we're gonna take this again and see if it changed any from that eight one six, eight one five five. I mean, sorry about that. So about 815 or 8115. So it did set it at about 40 thousandths, which is fine for me. That's just a cheap trick to show you guys what I do.